Hi, welcome back to What Jack Has Made. In this video, I'm going to be covering ACF and the GraphQL, well, WP GraphQL plugin, um, and how we can raise some of the ACF fields on custom post types into the schema. So I've gone ahead and synchronized my database with my current live environment. So I've got access to a ton of uh, actual data now to preview some demos. I've got access to my media, uh, all of my pages, my case studies and my posts and my events and all of that. Um, and we're going to be looking at the event post type specifically in this video. So if I go into advanced custom fields, I'm using the advanced custom fields pro version. So I'm not too sure how limiting the free version would be. Um, if I'd recommend purchasing a lifetime license if you have the funds and availability to do so now before it goes into its premium pricing strategy. And you can see I've got a couple of field groups in my advanced custom fields um, configuration. We're going to be looking at the post type event. So within this field group, I've set it it so that when you're creating or editing the post type event, then show these advanced custom fields. Now, I'm not going to go into what advanced custom fields is and all the different fields there are because I could do a whole series on that, which I might do in the future. Um, but just know that it essentially gives you form fields that allow you to input data that you normally wouldn't otherwise be able to for a post type or a page or later on I'll show you how to do so using blocks. Um, so in my events, I want to be able to say what the venue was, what date I went to the event and presented at, and if there's a URL, I would like to be able to surface that as well. At the moment, that is a type text, but I could change that to a type URL. Eh, I'm just going to change it to type URL. It might break something, but we'll see. And you can see when I try to update, I've now got an error message. This is because previously this would have been fine, but I've installed the WP GraphQL ACF plugin, which allows us to, as I said, raise the fields into our schema. So I want these fields to show, and I'm going to give them the title of post type event fields. You can call it whatever you want. And we can go ahead update. And that's done. So now if I go into events and we'll look at the latest event I posted, or the first one, I guess. Um you can see we got the Yoast SEO information, featured image, just the standard stuff you'd get. I could also put in uh ceiling as this was at Winchester Creatives. I get the URL. Oops. Um, and paste it in here. And then I can click update. And that's saved. So now if we go into our graph graphical plugin, we can explore the schema and see if we can get access to the fields we just specified. So we'll look at all of the events. And you can see we now have a new field called, or group of fields even, called post type event fields, which corresponds to the name we gave it. And within this group, we can look at what we've named it, which should just return this. So if we query, yep. For each event, it returns that. But we don't want that. We want the date, the URL, and the venue. And now for every single event, we get back the information if it was entered. So you can see I've got the URL for PHP Dorset and um, uh, PHP Hampshire, but then WP Bournemouth I haven't got a URL for, so it just returns a null. And yeah, this is great because now we have all the information we need returned in a JSON format, which we can use to process and build, you know, a page layout. If I wanted a page with all of the events I've been to, this has all the information I need. Um, but those are just the advanced custom fields. As you saw, I have featured images. We can get back the alt text. 
Uh, we can get back the different sizes of the image. So get back a medium crop of the featured image. And now you can see we get our um, post type event fields, but we also get back information about our featured image. That isn't actually the correct field. There we go. And now we've got my CDN images. I should probably update the images with some alt text, but you can go ahead and use this data information to build out any pages you need, which we'll be doing in Gatsby later on. I know you're probably eager to do so, but it's important that we set up the foundation so that later on it's a really seamless transition into Gatsby. So that's advanced custom fields for post types. You could do the same for general posts or pages um, or taxonomies. So go ahead, add in any advanced custom fields you need to do so now, or if you don't have any advanced custom fields, you can jump straight into the next video.